What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Luis Neri versus Carlos Castro, and this was a 10-rounder for the WBO Super Antimate World Title Eliminator, and this fight was Saturday, February 5th from the Michelob Ultra Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and this fight was broadcasted on Fox Pay-Per-View, and in this fight, Luis Neri was able to get a split decision victory over Carlos Castro. I personally scored this bout wider than all three judges. I had a 98 to 91 in favor of Netty, and the three judges had it really close. They had it 95 to 94 both ways, and then one judge had it um, handing it in favor of Netty with a score of 96 to 93. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, the judges had this fight really close. I mean, I want I want you guys watching to comment down below your scorecard for this fight because I'm interested to see if my scorecard was just crazy and if I was just watching the fight incorrectly and if I should rewatch it because I thought this was a wide fight in favor of Nettie. I mean, once again, comment down below your scorecard for this fight and who you thought won and some reasoning Um, because, I mean, I thought that Nettie simply outworked Carlos Castro. The only rounds they give to Castro were two middle rounds. But, um, yeah, just to break down the fight, I mean, Carlos Castro got dropped right off the bat in the first round with a perfectly placed left hand right on the jaw, sat him down, uh, and then Nettie just went in for the kill, tried to stop him and won, but that obviously did not work, and it went the full 10. But still, I just thought that Nettie was landing the better shots. He was just outworking Castro, landing more shots. Um, but Castro did start to pick it up in the middle rounds. That's why I gave him two of them. He started to go to the body a bit more and counter, Ca or, and counter Nettie on the outside, but then Nettie just picked up the pace again and started to outwork Castro, go to the body, go into the head, pressuring him against the ropes and landing some more combinations. So I just thought that Nettie won this fight clear. And I thought that it was not really going to be any like sort of fuss with the scorecards, but it was. I mean, it was really close on all three judges' um, scores. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, that means two of the judges had it 5-5. Five, five, or one judge had it 6-4 Castro, one judge had it 5-5, five, five, and one judge had it... 6-4 Nettie. I mean, that's just really, really close. Um, but yeah, ultimately, Luis Nettie did get the victory, winning this WBO Super Bantamweight World Title Eliminator. So with that being said, what is next for him? I mean, yeah, this is an Eliminator. Um, we'll get him ranked highly by the WBO. Um, I'm not really too sure what his ranking is right now, but I assume he is in the top 15, being that he did get this opportunity. Um, so I would like to see him fight someone highly rated in the WBO, possibly Angelo Leo for an interim title. Um, that'd be a very good fight, maybe for a final eliminator, or even possibly taking on the world champion, um, Stephen Fulton, who holds the WBO and WBC strap, which Nettie used to hold. But, I mean, yeah, now winning this WBO belt, he could, or this WBO eliminator, he could possibly have a shot at that world title um, in the near future. But I think first he'll probably have to fight Angelo Leo in a final eliminator, something like that, um, on like a PBC um, card. But I think those are his two options. Um, Angelo Leo for a final eliminator, something like that, or um, Stephen Fulton for the world title. But Angelo Leo is probably his next option. But as for Carlos Castro, losing for the first time in his career, now 27-1. and one, um, Yeah, I mean, he put up a valiant effort. He did not use his height in really his favor. He was really trying to go, go down to the body, but he was getting caught every time he was doing so, except when he would step off the outside and use that reach he does possess. But, I mean, once again, as I said before, he did lose for the first time in his career, although I thought it was much wider than that. I mean, the judges thought it was close, but still... Um, what is next for him? Going back to that main question, um, I would like to see him fight someone like an Oscar Escondone. That's the opponent that he did fight, um, before he did fight Nettie. Like, someone like that. Like, a guy with a decent record, some decent opponents on his record. But, a guy that, um, Castor should be able to beat. Someone in the top 30 like that. Top 35. Top 25. Somewhere around there. In the Super Bantamweight division. Just to get a decent comeback win before fighting someone else in the top 15, top 10 in the weight class. So overall, Luis Neri defeats Carlos Castro by split decision, although in my opinion, it should have been a unanimous decision to get his 32nd victory and to win the WBO Super Bantamweight World Title Eliminator. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.